Hi there! In this video, I'm going to help you set up your 2025 weekly and daily passion planner digital. I'll go over how to download your files onto your device, import your planner into your app of choice, how to click on the hyperlinks or tabs in your planner, run through how the planner is set up, how to add pages in your planner, how to use the stickers that came with your planner, and more. Feel free to skip through the timestamps to get to a particular section of the video. We'll note the most frequently asked questions so you can quickly navigate to those parts of the tutorial. Also feel free to adjust the speed of this video as needed. Our digital planners are PDF templates that you import into a PDF editing app, otherwise known as note taking apps of your choice, where you can then write in it and add things like photos and stickers and so much more. So I will be demonstrating on the iPad in the app GoodNotes as this is the most popular way to use digital planners, but any note taking app or app that allows you to edit PDF files and activate the hyperlinks throughout the planner will do. To prepare, make sure you first have your files app and GoodNotes already installed onto your iPad. But first, let's download your files onto your device. First, you'll click the download link in your email, which will lead you to this page here. Now this is important, so pay attention. You have five downloads available. Click download once and your file will automatically download into your downloads folder in your files app. I say this because a lot of the times people don't see anything pop up to tell them that their file is downloading and so they end up clicking through all of their five downloads. Okay, this is a really important step and you won't be able to access any of your files without first doing this. So no matter what app or device you're using, you need to first unzip your download folder in order to access its content. So on the iPad, you're going to find your downloaded file in the files app in your downloads folder, then tap on it to unzip it or long press on it and click uncompress. There's a very helpful readme file with directions on how to set up all the files that come with your download if you want to check it out here. Okay, so let's start off with setting up your planner. So we simplified this process. So all you need to do now is tap on your planner file, tap the share icon, then scroll down to open it in GoodNotes. If GoodNotes or your app isn't listed, you can always swipe over to more to find the app here. Alternatively, you can also open up your note taking app and use their import file tool. Feel free to check out our digital guide page at the beginning of your planner if you ever need more information on how it's set up. This is brand new and has a ton of frequently asked questions here too. Okay, so let's talk about navigating through your planner. So you can swipe or scroll through the pages of your planner, but the easiest way to navigate through it is to click on the hyperlinks or the tabs in your planner. So to click on these in GoodNotes, you'll need to make sure you're in read only mode by tapping on this icon here. If you're using an older version of GoodNotes, you might find this icon in the upper right hand corner. If you're using an app other than GoodNotes, you'll need to find out that app's specific way of turning on read only mode. It could be a hand or a cursor, or sometimes you can just tap on the links with your finger. This tab right here will take you to our index page. Try not to get overwhelmed though. This is just a space where you can find all the different sections and pages throughout the planner and navigate to them because these are all hyperlinked. You can click on the tabs on the right side of your planner to navigate to each monthly calendar. We now have quick links here to your roadmap and your vision board so you can easily revisit the goals that you planned at the beginning of the planner. You can click on the week number to get to that weekly overview or the dates to get to their daily layouts. On each weekly layout, you can click the month's title on the small monthly overview calendar to get back to the month view. And you can click on any of these weeks to get to that weekly layout. You can click on the dates to get to their daily layout. Each daily layout now has a back to week link on it. There are now new icons that appear on the monthly, weekly, and daily layouts for quick access to goals, wellness, and reflections for each month. Again, if you're feeling overwhelmed, don't worry about it. Just remember that whenever you're lost, just click on the month tab to get to that month, navigate to the week or day that you're on. Typically, I just bookmark the month, week, and day that I'm working in so that I can always access them through the bookmarks bar. 
We now have a quarterly overview tab. So here you can find your quarterly goals and habits along with the goals, wellness, and reflection pages I just mentioned. I really like this. If you're the type of person that's trying out the 12 week year, this is the perfect place to do just that. You can click this tab here to get to our new template index. So we now have 45 different templates for you to organize different facets of your life, like lifestyle, wellness, health, productivity, and finances, as well as 10 different notes templates, which you can access from your index page. These templates are here for you to duplicate as many times as you like and move throughout the planner as needed. Speaking of duplicating pages, so let's talk about adding pages in your planner. In GoodNotes, you can easily click on the plus icon here and select current template to quickly duplicate the page that you're on if you want it to just go after this current page. Or you can click on the three dots in the corner here, click copy page, then navigate to wherever you want to paste the page in your planner, click the plus symbol, click paste page and it'll paste itself after the current page that you're on. Another new feature is our sections divider. So I like to think of these as dividers in a binder so that I can organize the different parts of my life here and paste templates or whatever I want really into these sections. So for example, I like to have a section for scrapbooking. So what I would do is I would navigate to the template that I want to insert here, copy the page, and then paste it right here. I can always find this by navigating back to my sections divider or in my index page. Okay, so the last tabs at the bottom here are for the new add to calendar or reminder shortcuts. So if you're using an Apple device, first navigate to the Passion Planner Digital Guide page to set this up. There are instructions here and you need to first add this shortcut to your Apple device. What you're going to do is you'll go to your settings app, go down to shortcuts, then enable private sharing. You can always disable this after installation. Once you've done that, go ahead and click on this button to download the shortcut. It'll ask you which app you'd like to use. So make sure to select GoodNotes or whichever app that you're using your planner. in. So let's say I'm planning out my week and I don't want to forget a task or event. I can click on this tab in read only mode, click yes, and then click add reminder or add event. If you want to open up your Google calendar though, you can click this tab, no matter which device or app that you're using. Next, you can now change your planner covers. So in your downloaded folder here, you have 34 different planner covers to choose from. 30 are from previously released covers, and then we have four exclusive digital ones. When you see a cover you'd like to use, tap the share icon and then click copy. And you can go back and use your lasso or your photo tool to paste and resize it over the existing cover. All right, lastly, let's talk stickers. So. Let's open up the stickers folder here. If you're a GoodNotes user, you'll open up this folder here. And for any non GoodNotes user, you will open up this one. With your planner, you get both our digital icons and tracker sticker pack and our exclusive 2025 digital sticker pack. Okay, so this is important. These are preview sheets. In order to use these stickers in GoodNotes, you need to import these dot collection files directly into the elements tool in GoodNotes. To do that, tap on the dot collection file, tap the share icon and click GoodNotes, not the open in GoodNotes button. Then you would just tap to create it. You could also just tap the elements tool in GoodNotes, tap anywhere on the page, swipe left and click on this plus button, then import from and navigate to that dot collection file. This is great because then you can easily access your stickers straight from this GoodNotes tool. 
So again, you would just click on the elements tool and click on anywhere in the page to add on these stickers. Repeat with the rest of the dot collection files. The exclusive 2025 digital sticker pack features a ton of stickers so you can customize your digital planner with things like different headers to use or if you like to start and end your day at different times than our default ones, you can use these here. There are also time blocking stickers and these really cool new scrapbook style stickers. So for any non-GoodNotes users, you can access all of our stickers as individual PNG files. You can preview the sticker packs here, and then you can tap the share icon and copy and paste these actual individual stickers directly into your planner. Personally though, for this method, I like to use the drag and drop method. So first you would open up split view mode by clicking these three dots at the top here and opening up your planner in your note taking app. Then you can just drag and drop your stickers straight into your planner. So that about wraps up how to set up your passion planner digital files. Make sure to click subscribe and feel free to leave any questions or comments below.